All righty, so we have some really exciting news. We all woke up today. A lot of us were shook. It looks like Carolyn's is off to an amazing start in terms of construction. Um, as you can see here, they are lifting um, the final piece of that JoJo roll into place. So not only did they get that like station area set up or the pull out of the station, I think that's the station area. So it looks like they got the station area set up. They got a lot of support beams put up too yesterday. Then they started the, the first part of the JoJo roll and now that last part is going in just now. Um, coming from me, uh, Canada's Wonderland fan, uh, it looks like uh, this is going to turn out to be a race to who can complete their coaster the fastest. Is it going to be Yukon Striker or is it going to be Copperhead Strike? Um, if I honestly had to be a betting man, I from what I'm seeing, I think Copperhead Strike may actually be the first coaster to complete its circuit. Um, I will have an update on Yukon Striker tomorrow, by the way. So hopefully tomorrow, if all goes well, take this as a hint. We will have an update tomorrow for Yukon Striker if you're watching this and you're a Canada's Wonderland fan. But let's get back to Carowinds. This is about Carowinds. So they're completing the JoJo roll. That is literally, I think, one, two, three, four. Four to five pieces of track were installed along with supports. To put that into perspective, I think the most we've seen go in at Wonderland is about three pieces at a time um, in one day. So th that's significant. I think we're going to see that change, though, tomorrow or the day after. Then you're going to see a lot more pieces going in all at once. Um, but yes, thanks to our new software. So we have, a, for many of you who have been on our live streams, we've been experimenting with new software. We're able to screen record all day. So I can set up a system that screen records for me and then I can go through and edit it. And that's exactly what this has been doing. Um, so this has been edited um, to show you the actual installation of the JoJo Roll. Um, so we, I'll be able to do more Carowinds updates now with this new software. So I'll be able to like, you know, if something exciting happens, I'll be able to go back, edit the footage, um, and then make a video on it, um, which is really exciting because I haven't been able to do many, um, construction updates. Um, and I was also waiting for vertical construction to start, to start, to start the construction updates on Carowinds again. Um, but I'm really excited for this coaster. I'm definitely hoping to make it out to media day. Um, going to definitely try really hard opening day and all that. I really want to be on this coaster. It looks amazing. And yeah, construction is definitely taking off. As you can see, there's a flat ride being built just off to the left of the coaster as well. For those of you, your home park isn't Carowinds. They are also getting their flyers back. Um, so the flyers have been gone for, I think, two, three or four years. Um, correct me down below, because that is a rough estimate, the two to three, four years that they've been gone. They're coming back with the coaster as part of a whole area that is being launched at Carowinds. So that's super exciting. Um, but not much else going on. I will definitely be watching, keep my eye out, and making these construction updates. But yes, they look like they are off to a fantastic start. You can even see concrete work going on just there behind the station area. I don't know if that's for the queue line or if that's one giant massive footer, but you can see this little structure they built with little footers or footings, sorry, in there. Um, so that's super exciting. Definitely, um, they are really uh giving their A game and getting this project off to a very quick start. It is low to the ground, so it is easier to build um, than those really tall coasters like Yukon Striker. So again, Yukon Striker is at the hardest parts to build right now, the lift hill and the drop. But yeah, uh, I definitely think Yukon Striker may finish uh, after this one, but we'll see. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Um, but yeah, super exciting for anyone whose home park is Carowinds. So uh, thanks for watching this construction update. There will definitely be more of them. Um, and thanks for subscribing to our channel. So hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to watch. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Bye.